Hello and welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series and in this one I'll be showing you how to restrict access in your class-based views. We'll Would also create the login and logout view. So um, to restrict access in your class-based views you'll have to use a special decorator called the method decorator. So before we do that we'll have to import the login required from django.country that's at the decorators would we'll import the login required decorator. Then next we import the method decorator from the django.utils the decorators we we'll import method um, decorator. So to do this would we'll have to use it, place it before, just like the login required, we'll have to place it before the class we want to restrict access to. So we'll call the method decorator, we'll pass in the login required, and also the name of the method we want to restrict access to, and in this case, dispatch. I'll explain why this is so. But first of all, let's try it out. So currently we're logged, we're logged out, and this is the dashboard view, so if I try to access it, you can see it redirects me to the account.login page. So currently this works. So, but by default, Django uh, expects you to have um, a template folder called accounts then login, but we wouldn't be using this, we'll be creating our own custom login. So let's, hover, let's um, head over to the urls.py and create our custom login. So to do this, we'll be using the in, um, inbuilt um, login view provided by Django. So first of all, I'll have to import that from, from django.contrib.ot, then we'll import views as ot views. And the reason why I renamed it is so we we'll have we could easily differentiate between our own views and the inbuilt views in Django. So these views are currently for authentication. That's why I named it ot views. So we could just easily copy this and would name this uh, login. So from art views dot login view as view. So would rename it to the login. Then um, here we'll pass in our template name. If you can remember from the previous video, we did something like this. So uh, template name would be um, blog slash login. So blog slash login dot HTML. So here we are telling Django we want to use this um, template which we already have. So let's see. Is everything okay? Yeah. So let's head over to the template called login.html. Then over here, we would have to remove all this. First pass in the method of post to the form. Then the action should be this. So next to pass in the CSRF token, then we'll print out our form as a paragraph. So let's see if all save this, come to urls.py and we save this. So the way I'd be using this would be to just um, come to the settings.py and create how I want my login to work. So I would um, come over here and see my login, login URL should be login then my login redirect url there are other ways to actually do this from uh, views and from the code but i just want to use the settings of pi to set this globally so our login redirect url should be dashboard so yeah then i'll save this then i'll come to url.py to check if all is actually working. So let me just head back to manually type this. Let's try and have access to the dashboard 
this time around and see where it redirects us. So yeah, it's currently working. It redirects us to our um, login view. So let's see if this works, admin. Yeah, so it's currently working. So let me go back and explain what just happened. So in our views dot, uh, in our URLs dot pi, we passed in this login view and as view, and we uh, gave it a custom template we wanted to use. Then in our views dot pi, um, we restricted access to the method name called dispatch, and this is simply from the view. Method. So if we click the view method, like I expect, earlier explained, there are two main methods in the view um, class-based views, and you have the as view, which makes um, your class-based view render as a function-based views, and this makes use of um, the dispatch function, which is declared over here. So the dispatch function actually looks for the um, HTTP method, which could be over here which could be get, post, push, or touch, or whichever HTTP method you know uh, we have, I mean. So the dispatch method actually checks if it actually exists, then redirects it. So this is where the main work happens in our class-based views. So when you say um, login required for the dispatch method, what um, your Django application is actually see, what your Django application sees is the get method or the post method. So it restricts access to whichever method the um, as view function passes it to. So over here, we can see this works and this button doesn't work currently. So we would have to, um, let me go update that in our templates. So the login view, and you can see I did, um, a simple condition over here. So if the user is authenticated, you should display the lockout button. So for instance, here you can see the lockout button is being displayed. Or if the user is not logged in, the login button should be displayed. So this is just basic um, um, conditions in our view. So over here, I could pass the the login view. So uh, that is that. So I think the next thing would be creating would be the logout view. And this is going to be very, very simple. Um, do the same step over here. And we'll uh, name it logout. And we'll pass in the logout view. And here we don't need a custom template for anything because we'll be handling how that redirects from our settings.py. So we'll um, place logout, then we'll go over to our settings.py and we'll um, simply just, uh, let me write it. We'll simply give it the logout redirect URL. And in this case, it should be home. So when you log in, it should take you to the dashboard. When you log out, it should take you to the home page. So let me cross check if all this is good. So yeah, so let's head over to the browser. But before then, let's go to the base template and update this link to log out. Yeah. So let me cross check what I named it, logged out correct. So refresh and if we click, something is wrong with my URL I named. Let me go and cross check once more. Show me the wrong URL, and why is that so? Okay, I forgot the second percentage, so I'll go back and refresh. Then the logout view, 
I click logout, then it redirects me to home. And you can see this button. Whenever I'm logged out, it shows me the login. And that was due to this, um, to the if statements, if else statements we did over here. So I've, I'm currently logged out, then I can click on this to log in, then I could log in and it directs me to the dashboard. So that will be it for this video. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to um, list, let's see, let me choose one of them. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to list posts by category. So when we click on this fashion, it takes us to all the posts under the fashion category. So I'll see you in the next one.